In this session, we are going to discuss about Warshall's algorithm. Warshall algorithm is one of the example for dynamic programming. So here, they will be giving us a digraph, that is a directed graph, so which I have shown here. Here we have four vertexes. So the first step uh, here is to construct the adjacency matrix. So adjacency matrix construction can be done with the help of the graph which is given to us. So here they have given a graph with four vertexes. So here A, B, C, D, row wise and column wise. So this is the adjacency matrix. So uh, the direct edge from a vertex could be plotted in adjacency matrix. For example, uh, a to A, we don't have any direct edge. A is in the direct B is outgoing edge. Irukku. So, A is in the B is 1. Remaining is 0. Since we don't have any other outgoing edge from A. Next, B is in the where in the vertex is in the B is in the D is in the So, B is in the D is in the possible route. That is 0. Next, C is in the outgoing edge. Me so, C is in the vertex. Chance Next, D is in the two outgoing edges. Appa D is in the A ku reach and C is in the A. D is in the A ku, C is reach the Remaining 0. So, we have constructed the adjacency matrix. The goal of Warshall algorithm is that we have to construct the transitive closure of the given digraph that is directed graph so transitive closure in the sense in the vertex length mat the vertex group oh chances irka ilaya if yes one no zero adha so manuala first transitive closure nama construct panikla so that we can just cross check our answer so the same four by four matrix that is indirect or where it is the edge in in the vertex in the vertex reach the chance to reach the vertex so now consider the first area A in the A reach the vertex so A in the B is B in the D D in the A so we have the chance of visiting from A vertex to A vertex again so this here it is 1 A in the B is the chance to yes 1 A in the C is the chance to a to B, B to D, D to C. Pohamudium. Yes. A learn the D kupohamudima indirecta. Varavalia. A learn the B poi, B learn the D pola. Yes. Possibilities is there. Similarly, for B vertex, we will be getting 1, 1, 1. For C, outgoing edge, edime kadayadanala. C learn the matha in the vertex may reach pana mudiyad. It is 0. D learn the yellow vertex reach pana chances irk. So, so, this is a final answer which we will be getting. So, for to trace this, we have to start with our adjacency matrix. So, adjacency matrix like the result and we have to begin. So, I am just considering this to be R of 0. So, we are going to consider this matrix to be in, uh, input and proceeding it. So, R not learned, we have to find R1. So, R1 can't put it in the first in the adjacency matrix, first row, vayun, first column, vayun, select. Pannu. So, next, select panna in the row and column as such, up to the So, first row, vayun, first column, vayun, select. Pannu. I am writing it as such. No change. First row, first column. Select one. Irko. Ar apdi R one le elidirlam. Next, irka in the remaining rows and columns. Inna pannun kating na. For example, consider here we have zero. So in the zero ko badla inna pannro na B le rende B ko bohha chance irka. Abdin paakno. Initial line ge zero irko. Apa inge value apdi kando pudi kono na. Idhu parallel arka row vyu column liyu. In the value we can see. parallel row, we have 1. parallel column, we have 0. So, parallel row, column, 1 and 1, 
we can put 1 over here. But unfortunately, in the row la 1 no, column la 0 over kanala, in the 0 way down varu. Next, in the near compute pandraka, either parallel arc selected row la 0, parallel arc selected column la we have 0. Since it is 0 and 0, here also 0. Next, already in a 1 and the arc, which means B is in the D path, irkin meaning. So, 1 and irk at the change panama. 1 and apdi retain panikno. Next, <coughs> inge compute pannu na, idhuk parallel selected row le inner kun pakno, it is 1, selected column le 0. So, 1 and 0, so 0, no change. Next, inge 0 and irk, parallel arc row le 0, here we have 0, and here also 0, so here also 0. Next, inge we have 0, idhuk parallel arc row le 0. Parallel arc column la pathing nalu, selected column la pathala 0, so it is 0, no change. Here we have 0, so either parallel arc selected row la 1, selected column la we have 1. So 1 and 1 and irkanala, we can put 1 here. Next, in already 1 and the arc, so no change. Next, in parallel arc row la 0 arc, so 0, retain the same. That's all. So, now R1 is done. We have to select a second row and second column. So, now to find the next possibilities, we have to retain the second row as such, no change since we have selected it, and the second column as such. Now, we have to start computing. The other values here 1 and 0. So, in your 0 the room. And have the parallel row in parallel column li, 1 in the 1 else 0. So, here 0. In your pathing in a 0 irk. Parallel arc row la 1 irk. Parallel arc column li, 1 irk. So, here it is 1. Next here no change 0. 0. 0. In your already 1 the arc. Don't disturb it. Put 1. Here is 1, disturb the number 1. Here is 0, parallel arc selected row is 0, column is 1. Sorry, 1 and 1. So it is 1. We have done it. Now we are going to select the third row and the third column. Now we are going to compute R3, the next possibility. So for which we don't want to disturb the third row and third column which we have selected. So I am writing the values as such. Now other values we have to check for the parallel row and parallel column and write it. Once in the, the step on our end arm. So I am writing the values. No change over here. Next, we have to select the fourth row and the fourth column. Now, the next R4. So, for R4, we have to write the fourth row and fourth column as such. No change. So, now when we check for this value, parallel arc row is 0, parallel arc column is Sorry, parallel arc row is 1, parallel arc column is 1. So, here the value could be 1. Here 1, no change. In the value pakambodhu, in the parallel arc row is 1, column is 1. So, 1. So, the same, in the 1, 1, 1 change I do. Since the parallel row and the parallel column, we have 1. Here, zeros. That's it. So, here we have finally got a solution, which is the transitive closure of the given digraph. So, when you cross check the transitive closure which we have already computed, they both will be matching each other. That's it. So, when a digraph is given, we have to compute the transitive closure of it. Thank you.